Hello everyone and welcome to our today's broadcast. We have some updates and uh, successful trades to analyze, but before we get started, here is our official site uh, that you can learn more about uh, our tool trading engine, a special tool we have developed for the TradingView platform. Here is our TradingView profile, Tiflo blockchain. You can follow us for more updates and ideas. And by clicking tiflo.ai, you visit our official site, clicking services, trading engine. And from this section over here, you can see that our tool is available directly from our site. And uh, of course, you can purchase access packages with tflow tokens over here. So let's keep moving on with our today's report. Today's market cap is about $1.19 trillion, while the 24-hour volume is about $32.62 billion. We have a slight decrease on the Bitcoin dominance. We are on the 49.9% for the moment, and a slight decrease as well on the Fear and Greed Index, 56% for the moment. Despite the sideways movement on the Bitcoin chart, we observe a slight increase on the total market cap 1.86 percent for the moment on the total market cap while at the same time we see that some gems uh, caught uh, the investors attention we see pepe with a slight increase of uh, 5.46 percent pepe 2 and chain link According to the last uh, 24 hours, we see that Polygonmatic is a top gainer, uh, BNB follows, Solana, Litecoin, and of course Bitcoin Cash. We are on the altcoin season index, uh, of course, on the month section. We see that the decrease on the Bitcoin dominance keeps continuing. We are uh, on the 29% for the moment. Well, new altcoins uh, start thriving uh, according to the top 50 performance over the last month. Apparently, Bitcoin Cash uh, keeps continuing being first and uh, made this action over here uh, is going to lead on a small altcoin season within the next uh, days. So let's get started with uh, our report. Uh, we are on the Bitcoin chart. The sideways movement uh, keeps continuing. The price fluctuates close to a strong trading area according to the volume profile. Apparently, the price has encountered once again the previous resistance and uh, nothing uh, significantly changed about the conflict between the bears and uh, the bullish signals. For the moment, we are short for the Bitcoin price. Quite rational, I think, uh, from the moment we achieved the previous resistance area. Let's keep going on with uh, Ethereum's price. We are in a long mode for the moment and we closed our previous uh, short uh, position with a successful trade of 3.43% uh, profit. According to the technicals, we see that uh, we had uh, support on the 200 SMMA line over here and the price eventually made an upside movement. Now, we observe the price uh, on the 50 SMMA line and we may see a further increase. What a rebound from the bottom, we see that uh, Binance coin rejected the previous support zone and now the price fluctuates close to the previous resistance areas. So you have to observe this area over here in case we have uh, updates from the trading engine algorithm. We have a similar movement uh, on the XRP chart. We have a small rebound over here, but uh, not as powerful as uh, BNB's chart. Now the price fluctuates below the 200 and the 50 SMMA lines. And despite this uh, long signal over here, we may see a small increase like a fake out, a fake breakout. And after that, the price drop under these areas over here once again. Atom is pretty steady for the moment. We are currently short for Atom's price. As we can see, there is a strong trading area over here. Uh, that could add a uh, small resistance. So no updates for uh, Atom's price. Let's keep moving on with Matic. We had the fake out for Matic's price. We see that the price uh, rejected the 50 SMMA line and eventually the price made an upside movement close to the 200 SMMA line over here. 
there is a small area to fulfill according to the small gap. So the price of Matic has uh, the potential for a small profit for the long position. Let's keep moving on with Dogecoin. As you can see, Doge is in a long position opening and we closed our previous uh, short uh, trade with a gain of uh, 2.86%. Now the price may face uh, a small resistance over here and pressure from sellers uh, as the 50 SMMA line is located over here and we are waiting uh, for the price to make its movement. Let's see what's happening with FTM's price. We are currently in a long mode. The price fluctuates on a strong trading area according to the VPVR profile and we may see a small increase close to the 50 SMMA line. What about VeChain? We had the conflict between uh, bullish and bear signals, but as you can see, the two previous positions closed uh, with a break even or a small profit. So currently we are in a short mode and waiting for more updates from the trading engine algorithm. Let's end up our today's report with Solana. Solana token is uh, still in a long mode. We see that uh, the price is uh, powerful enough despite this resistance over here. And currently our uh, long position opening is gaining a 16.43% uh, for the moment. So once again, if you are satisfied with your profits, uh, please secure your position or uh, take the maximum of this trade. So that's all for today's report. Thank you very much and I will see you next time.